using AI to help with hearing. That's our text to nation. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us from Singular Hearing, creator of Heard That, is founder and CEO Bruce Sharp. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Fred. Great to see you. And uh, let's talk about the background of the company, first of all, just a little bit before we get into what's brand new here. Sure. Uh, so this the company is to help people hear speech better in noise. And our product is called Heard That. And it comes out of a personal experience, a family member who had uh, trouble hearing in noise, very common story. Uh, the complexity of group meetings, family get togethers and so on was such that he would just start withdrawing. And, uh, you know, we looked into various options. Turns out hear his hearing aids, as good as they were for many things, didn't solve the noise problem. And in the meantime, I was keeping my eye on new developments in AI and saw that there was some really dramatic improvements in speech processing available with AI and put those put that together with the problem that I was seeing and created the product that heard that. So what are you out with now? This is something called a professional program for heard that. Tell me about it. Right. So I uh, heard that is useful for people, whether they have hearing aids or not, and whether they've been diagnosed with a hearing loss or not. But uh, most people uh, at some point, if they uh, have hearing problems, will visit an audiologist. And we wanted to make sure that that uh, professional community was aware of what we have and it was available to them to recommend to their patients and try it themselves. We exhibited at the uh, AAA convention, the American Academy of Audiology a couple of months ago, and had a chance to talk to lots of audiologists and demo the product to them. Uh, there was a, just a lot of enthusiasm there. So we rolled out this professional license program. So it gives the audiologists a couple of free perpetual licenses to the product and access to us directly, uh, as well as uh, they'll get previews and access to accessories that we're working on in the future. Interesting. So step us through how this works from a user perspective. Sure. So it's a smartphone app. So you just download it from uh, either the Apple App Store or Google Play, depending on what kind of phone you have. So we're out there for both iPhones and Android. And uh, it's intended for in-person conversations, restaurants, coffee shops, maybe business meetings, any place where, where noise has, has been a problem, outdoors, shopping. And uh, say in the restaurant situation, the idea is that you... Uh, you're meeting with your friends, you start the app uh, and you can see an image of the app here. It's pretty simple. You just press the start button and you lay the app on the table in front of you and sort of in between you and the people you want to hear. And what's going on is the app acts as kind of a remote microphone. So it listens to the sound, all the noisy sound that's around you. And it uses AI right on the phone to separate the speech from the noise. And it's that AI magic is the new ingredient that makes it all work. So this is a demo that's on our website where we went out to a noisy place and used, heard that. Uh, we recorded the, the noisy sound and we also recorded the output from heard that where it gets rid of the noise so you can uh, compare. So I'll play a little bit with the noise. And then when I move this slider from original sound up to with heard that, you'll hear the difference uh, that heard that can uh, can make. This video is to give you a sense of what it's like to use heard that in a real life situation. Let's imagine you and I are getting together for coffee. You have heard that on your phone and are using it to get a clearer version of my voice amidst all the noise of our surroundings. You start heard that, place your phone on the table and point it in my general direction. As you watch this, you'll see a slider underneath the video. Move the slider all the way to the left, and you'll hear my voice along with all the noise of our So that gives you the idea of, of uh, what it can do. Gets rid of the noise and then sends the clean speech to your ears, to uh, earbuds, like I'm wearing now, or to your hearing aids or headphones, whatever you want to use. So the beauty of it is you don't need to buy any new devices. It uses the things you've already got. And it's just really effective in, in getting rid of the noise and you know, helping you hear the conversation you want to hear much more clearly. It isn't designed for use while you're on the phone, though, is it? 
That's right. It's not for phone calls or even video calls like this. Uh, it's more for in-person conversations. What about things like uh, TV or movie watching? Is it helpful? There? Yeah. It was a little bit of a surprise to us. Maybe we shouldn't have been surprised that so many people are using it for watching TV. And uh, it's a very common situation. You've got uh, two people who are watching TV together. One of them, their hearing is not so good. They want the TV to be really loud. The other person wants the TV to be more of a normal volume. I uh, heard that solves that problem. So you start up, heard that put it somewhere near the TV speaker and it picks up that sound and transmits it to your ears. Uh, so bo you both get amplification, which solves the, the volume issue. Uh, but some people also find the things like background music and sound effects and just noise in the soundtrack of whatever they're watching to be a problem. It can get rid of all that. Uh, and there's a, a slider on the phone so you can adjust the amount of noise that it removes. If you want to hear all those things, that's great. You just turn down the noise removal and mostly get the benefit of amplification. But if you want to clean up the sound and just emphasize the dialogue, then you can you can dial it up a bit. What about the effect on uh, on the battery life on, on your phone? There are folks who might be concerned if there was a, a lengthy conversation or a dinner at a restaurant, that kind of thing. It should be uh, fine. Uh, it It's not excessively uh, using the battery more than any other app that you might have uh, open. And it runs in the background. You don't have to, your screen doesn't have to be on or anything. If, it, if the lock screen comes on, that's fine. It'll keep running. Uh, we've done demos. We were at the uh, CES show a couple of years ago when we were first launching this. We did 750 demos over the course of a few days. We were using the same phones all day, basically. And at the end of the day, their battery was in good shape. Terrific. Do some phones work better than others with this? There, the differences are minor. If you have a, a recent, you know, last couple of years phone that's maybe higher end, you'll get slightly better uh, performance. But we've taken a lot of care to make sure that it works well on all sorts of phones, uh, entry-level phones, older phones, and so on. And we currently support, I I think in our uh, users, it's over a couple of thousand different phone models. So who even knew there were that many? Uh, but it seems to work well for those. And what about the, the differences and with different types of earbuds or headphones? Yeah, one of the best experiences, uh, assuming you're not using hearing aids, is to use noise canceling earbuds like the the type that I'm wearing now. You know, the Bose Quiet Comfort are fantastic. Apple AirPods are are good because they get rid of the noise. Um, you know, leaving aside the speech stuff, they just dampen out the noise. They fit in your ears, so that gives you some passive noise isolation. But they also have active noise cancellation, which just it helps bring down uh, the ambient noise. But all that noise reduction also reduces speech. Um, but if you use that in conjunction with heard that, heard that gives you the clean speech, the earbuds will get rid of the ambient noise and it's a really good combination. Terrific. And you allow people to try this out for free, right? Yes, we wanted to make it really easy for people to, to give this a try. Uh, everyone's experience of hearing is is very different and personal, and we can't guarantee it's going to work for anybody or that it won't work for certain people. Just try it and see. If it works for you, great. Uh, so there's a 30-day free trial. It's completely unrestricted uh, usage. Uh, after that, you are in a like a, a freemium mode, which means you can use it for 30 minutes a week. Uh, but if you want to remove that restriction, you can buy a, a subscription. It's $10 a month or $100 a year. And you mentioned that you've got some things on the drawing board. What can you tell us? <laughs> um, okay. Well, without giving too much away, oh, I'm giving a lot away. Uh, we are working on some wireless uh, remote microphones. So this will add some more flexibility uh, to your use of heard that. So instead of right now, the, the typical usage is it'll use the microphones that are built into the phone. That's very effective. You don't have to carry anything else around. 
But if you're in an, an extremely noisy situation or you want to hear somebody more at a distance, perhaps, you know, you're shopping, you want to talk to your partner who's in the next aisle over, we have a little uh, microphone that can, can clip on uh, to your clothing at the front. It's wireless. And uh, the receiver for that microphone just plugs right into the bottom of the phone and gets its power from there. And then heard that will will use that. So it's pretty useful for those kind of situations. Um, the TV situation we were talking about before, it's a little easier maybe to put a microphone up near a, the TV speaker instead of your entire phone. Uh, if you're at lectures, you can put it up at the podium uh, to hear the speaker better, that sort of thing. So it gives you some more flexibility and they'll be quite affordable as well. Any uh, thoughts about how long uh, before we can see that? Uh, before the end of the year. Terrific. So it's coming along soon. For more coming information, soon. for more information, where is the best place to go for people to try this and watch for what's new? Uh, our website is a great place to go, heardthat.ai. And when you're on there, you'll be invited to join our newsletter. Uh, you can sign up for that. And uh, we won't spam you too much with information, but you'll get some interesting things once in a while. And uh, we're on all the usual social media uh outlets so uh, just uh, search for heard that again it's heard that dot ai bruce sharp congratulations on the innovations and thanks for spending time with us it was great to talk to you